acquired um, two years ago, can't believe it's been two years ago, I ordered a new piece for us for Easter that I planned for us to learn. And then of course, the bottom dropped out with the pandemic and we ended up uh, sheltering in place and moving to virtual worship. And so uh, this anthem uh, got pulled out and stuck back in the drawer, the library drawer. I've pulled it back out, um, hoping that we will be together this year in person for Easter. It's a wonderful jazzy setting of the um, Easter hymn, Now the Green Blade Rises. It's a bit challenging, but you're up for it. Um, it, um, he uses this wonderful alternating rhythm between 5-4 and 6-4, which creates this really wonderful jazzy feel to it. So I'm going to line out each part individually, um, just like I would in rehearsal, an in-person rehearsal, and then I'll do all four parts together so that you can begin to learn this. If you look in the notes below on the video, there'll be a um, a note as to when your part starts uh, so you can fast forward to that particular point in the video and watch your sectional rehearsal and then also watch the four-part rehearsal there. So thank you for taking the time to work on this at home and I look forward to when we're back together in person to rehearse together. Sopranos, here is your vocal line for Now the Green Blade Rises. Just uh, be sure that you're um, taking note of where the meter changes between 5-4 and 6-4. We start in 5-4, 1-2-3-4-5, 1-2-3-4-5, 1-2-3-4-5, 5, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And the key, that's our key. I'll play along with your part here. Here we go at the beginning. One, two, three, four, five. the tenors and the basses sing. We come back in on page four, measure 13 on this pitch. One, two, three, four, sing. One, two, three. One, two, three, rest. One, two, three, four, rest. Rest two, three, four, five. Rest two, three, four, sing. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. We're out while the tenors and the basses sing. We come back in and measure 32 on this pitch. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, rest. One, two, three. to five, top of page 10, to a hum. Remember to um, keep your lips closed, but separate your teeth when you're humming. One, two, three, four, five. Here's your line. 
we begin with the soprano singing in unison. Make sure that you're watching for those changes between 5-4 meter and 6-4 meter throughout this piece. And also you'll notice that we're going to go back and forth between a minor key and a major key as well. So a couple of things to take note of as you're learning your rhythm and your notes here. Starting together um, with the sopranos in 5-4. So here's our rhythm. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. while the tenors and the basses sing. We come back in, page four, measure 13. There's your pitch on the word love. One, two, three, four, five. tenors and the basses sing. We come back in, middle of six, measure 32 on the word back. Here's your pitch. One, two, three, four, sing. keep our lips closed but our teeth parted a little bit so you have a nice open space inside your mouth there for good resonant sound and here's your pitch back to five for the meter one two three four five Tenors, this is your line. Um, just a reminder about the change of the rhythm uh, throughout this uh, piece. We go back and forth a couple of times between 5-4 and 6-4, so make sure you make a note of that. We're also going to be changing between a minor key and a major key throughout this as well, so a couple of those changes as well. So begin to listen for both that rhythm change or the meter change and the tonal change in there. You begin in unison with the basses at the bottom of page three. That's our key. We're in five beats to the measure. One, two, three, four, sing. Measure 26 on the word grieving, and here's your pitch. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Rest, two, three, four, five. Rest, two, three, four, sing. Two, three, four. 
four, five, sing. sing. until the middle of page 10. We're on a hum for the last little bit. Remember when we hum, we're gonna keep our lips closed, but we're gonna keep our teeth parted just a little bit so that we get a more resonant space in our mouth. You come in at measure 67 on that hum there. One, two, three, four, five. Hello, my bass friends. Here is your vocal line for Now the Green Blade Rises. Just a couple of things to make note of. We are gonna have some meter changes through this piece, so we'll go from 5-4 to 6-4 a couple of times, back and forth, so listen and watch out for that and your score. And also just note that this piece also moves back and forth between a minor key and a major key. So really listen for that as well as you're, as you are learning your part. Here's the key we're in. We start out in 5-4. And you come in with the tenors at the bottom of the first page. There's your pitch. One, two, three, four, sing. in at the bottom of page five, still in unison with the tenors on this pitch, the word is grieving. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Rest, two, three, four, sing. to keep our lips together, but we're gonna open our teeth so we have a little bit more resonant space inside our mouth. You come in on the second line, measure 67 on hmm. Here we are, one, two, three, four, five.
Let's put all four parts together now. I'll continue to play your pitches to support you right at the beginning, back to that 5-4 meter with the sopranos and the altos beginning and then passing to the tenors and basses at the bottom of that first page. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Begin for us, back to five, one, two, three, four, five. 